the mice that ate iron. Maniram was a merchant. His most precious possession was a pair of iron scales. I have to go out of town. I am afraid someone will steal these weighing scales while I am away. He requested his friend Lakshman to keep them safe for him. This is all I have left in the world. Please will you look after my scales? Of course. Maniram went off on his journey with an easy mind. But he had a nasty surprise when he returned. What do you mean you no longer have my scales? What happened? I tried to save your scales, but some mice gobbled them up. Maniram was no fool. He guessed that Lakshman was lying. He would have to trick Lakshman into admitting the truth. Never mind, my friend. It is just my bad luck. Thank God he has accepted my excuse. Lakshman had not thought it would be so easy to fool Maniram. When Maniram asked for a favor, he was happy to agree. I want to bathe in the river before I go home. Can your son help carry my things? Certainly. Go and help Maniram, son. Thank you. I'll be back soon. After his bath, Maniram took the boy home and locked him inside. Then he went back to Lakshman's house and began to weep loudly. What has happened? Where is my son? Oh, Lakshman, while I was bathing in the river, a hawk swooped down and carried your son away. Lakshman was beside himself with anger. He shouted at Maniram. Hearing the din, many villagers began to gather around. Liar! Cheat! I don't believe you. I tried to save your son, but the hawk flew away. Furious, Lakshman dragged Maniram to the Sarpanch. The villagers followed. Sarpanji, Maniram has kidnapped my son. He must be punished. Tell him to bring my son at once. The Sarpanch gazed at Maniram. What have you done with the boy, Maniram? He was sitting on the river bank while I took a bath. Suddenly a hawk sweeped down and carried the boy away. The Sarpanch did not believe Maniram. Surely you do not expect me to believe this nonsense. He is a liar, Your Honor. He must be punished. All the villagers gathered around Maniram and asked him to tell the truth. Maniram's reply left everyone except Lakshman. Mystified, his mice ate up my iron scales, and I didn't raise a hue and cry. But when a hawk carries away his son, why does he say I lie? The sarpanch realized at once that there was more to the story than what Lakshman had said. He spoke kindly to Maniram. Maniram, instead of talking in riddles, why don't you tell me what happened? Maniram told the sarpanch and the assembled villagers. How his friend had tried to cheat him. If mice could eat my iron scales, then why can't a hawk fly away with the boy? The sarpanch spoke sternly to Lakshman. Lakshman, you cheated Maniram and stole his scales. Return them to him immediately. Your son is safe and sound in my house. I will bring him right away. I just wanted to teach you a lesson. Please forgive me. I've been greedy. I've learned my lesson now. Subscribe my YouTube.